Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Sunday the 10th of March 2024. I hope you are keeping well, relaxing on your Sunday if that's what you do. Or if you do something else, I hope you're enjoying whatever it is that you're doing. Um, don't forget to uh, click on YouTube subscribe for all of the channels that you watch. From t even if it's just from time to time, uh, I s of course, including this one, where <laughs> please <laughs> click on the subscribe button. Uh, the reason I mention this is because uh, it can the, the suddenly the YouTube al algorithm can give you something brilliant. I subscribe to uh, jazz musician Joey Alexander, who was who has been famous since the age of I think eight when he played for Barack Obama. He's a wonderful pianist, superb pianist. And I also subscribe to Chris's Jazz Cafe, which I think is in Philadelphia. I'm not quite sure, though. And um, if those two things happen to collide, for example, Joey Alexander was playing live at Chris's, uh, you'll get an alert. And I did and uh, jumped out of bed to <laughs> watch the concert. Uh, wonderful live um, show from Joey Alexander and of course it will be replayed so uh, go to Chris's Jazz Cafe if you want to watch the the uh, set uh, so uh, but you know if I hadn't been subscribed to those channels uh, I wouldn't have been suggested it and so you see how it is useful um, now the Observer Sudoku puzzle it can be any level I have no idea we'll begin that in a second before I note that Donald Trump has managed to post bond um, on the E. Jean Carroll case, which is variously quoted as, well, the judgment, I think, is for 80-something million, and then the amount to be paid seems to be 90-something million, or anyway, it's around about that number, something very, uh, extremely high. Um, but a company apparently did it for him, which was Chubb Insurance. The only thing I Chubb I know in, from the UK was Chubb Lock. <laughs> I don't know if that's the same company or not. Um, but what's going to be more interesting is uh, that, although that is absolutely a huge amount of money, uh, what's going to happen when it comes to the almost half a billion dollars that is going to need to be posted? Will will it be um, somebody from a foreign country uh, who posts bond for him? Is that even allowed? I don't know what's going to happen at that point. But that's a whole different matter, right? That's absolutely huge amounts of money. Mind you, insurance companies probably have that kind of cash around, so maybe it Maybe they'll do it again. We'll wait and see. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Now, I saw something and I've dropped it. I'm sure I saw it and I've lost it again. Damn you, where are you? Ah, there it is. I saw two blocking across here and two up here. I won't bother to explain the rules of Sudoku. If it turns out to be a very easy level puzzle um, and you don't know the rules of the game, you can check out any Monday or the easy playlist available from my... Uh, channel here on YouTube uh, and on a Monday I always explain the rules of Sudoku on the beginner guardian game uh, oh can't seem to get going this morning uh, the jazz was too good And for newcomers to the channel, uh, you should note that jazz is my main passion, not Sudoku, really. Sudoku is just a thing I do from time to time. But what I really love to do is listen to uh, as much jazz as I possibly can. Well, I'm not seeing the next move. Why am I not seeing the next move? Does that mean it's a bit obscure? Uh, so this could be a game that uh, needs a bit of thought, possibly. All right, let's see what we know about the ones, shall we? We know ones are in those squares. We know ones are in those squares. We've got three possibilities here. We've got this. We've got this. Hmm. Okay, what do we know about twos? They appear there and there and there. And there, well, it's one of those kind of conundrums. I think this could turn out to be a tough game. Oh, threes across here. At least we've got ne the next digit. We've got ourselves a three here. OK. 
again that kind of pattern which is un is not possible to solve without a bit more info fours are in those squares fives are like this Pair over there. I'm just looking for anything that's kind of easy at the moment. I'll come back and think about things a bit more if and when I need to. I think that's going to be soon. It is going to be soon. Okay, I'm going to have to look for other things. Oh, okay. Five, six, nine. Well, I don't know if it means anything. Probably not. But anyway, we've got 3-5 blocking there. We've got 3-5 blocking there. So we can say that these two squares must only be 3 or 5, which means that this square and this square can only be 1 or 2. It does mean something because obviously 2 can't be here. So that's going to be 2 and that is going to be 5. Uh, one, sorry, five. <laughs> 1, sorry. At least I hit the right key this time, even though I said the wrong number. And like I said, 3 and 5 will be left in those squares, a pair of 3 and 5 there. Now, has that got anything? Got us anything new with the 1s? What do we know? Any changes yet? Um, I think there might be a slight improvement, but not much. How about the 2s? Ah, yeah, two across there, across there, and down there. So we can say that that's a two. Uh, five blocks. Sorry, five blocks these two squares. We need five in one of these two squares, and we've got five blocking across there, so there's our five. Five across here now, and across here means that's our five. This is our three, as we just pointed out, or I just pointed out. Three up here and three down there it gives us three in that square. Three across here, three down there, there's our three. One down here puts one into that square, and the last number here is an eight. Eight across here and down there will give us eight in that square. And slowed again. Ah, oh, we got three across here, across there, down here and down there. There's a three. Oh, that's the last digit, three. Good. Four blocks this square and this square, so here's a four. 
we'll be left here and here here and here with five and nine I believe and I can't say which is which just yet Uh, again, I'm stuck, so let's see. So I guess this is not an easy level game, is it? It's got to be, I think, probably a hard level game. It's certainly a, at least a medium. Okay, so we've now got ones reduced to actual pairs, but we still can't finish them off. Twos. Not quite pairs, but we've got this kind of pattern that we can't solve. Yeah, we've got at least two in every row. So there's that. Three we've got already. What do we know about four? Oh, four, that's better. Four across here. So we can place our four here now. So four blocking down here puts four in one of those squares. And up there, that'll give us four here. Four across there puts four into that square. We're left with six and nine here. So this is going to be one. One up here, up here, and across there. There's one. Uh, five and six. I'm no six and nine. I'm missing here. Sorry. Uh, here, what do we need? Uh, six. I think it is. Missing numbers across here, two, six, and nine. We've got two and nine together. I'm going to give that a six then. Uh, six across here and across here I will mean that must be our six. Six blocking down here, there's the six. Missing number here is a nine. Uh, nine blocking up here puts nine in one of those two squares. Blocking down nine across here, down there, nine is in that square, 9 across here, 9 across there. I think I'm going to give this a hard level uh, because I get complaints on a Sunday that my judgments are always off. <laughs> I'm a, apparently I always underrate the games on a Sunday so I'm going to call this one a hard level even though it's not taking me too long to finish. And I say that I'm using almost using the past tense here because I'm pretty sure that this is this game is finished from just from the way that it's flowing right now fives up here there's nothing I don't see I think that there's going to be anything difficult left to do I really don't mind you I've said that before and been proven wrong so you never can quite tell Uh, three and five are finished. Let's uh, see what else we've got going for us. So now we're left with ones in just those squares there. The twos, two blocking up here, gives me a two in that square. Two across here and two up there says you're a two. And where else? We need one somewhere. Oh, yeah, there. And that's the final digit, two. Four blocks down here and across there, so that must be our four. Four across there will give us four in that square. Missing numbers here are two and eight. No, they're not. Did it again, messed it up again. Six and eight, right? Uh, so. Six blocking across here, six blocking across here, and six blocking from the top down will give us six in that square. And this, the last digit here, which I didn't notice a moment ago, is why if you're wondering why I didn't do that one first, because I just didn't see it. Uh, the missing number here is, come on, what are you? What are you? Are you a, s no, are you a seven? I think you are a seven. And we've also got seven blocking there, so that's a seven. Seven blocking this way and this way, so there's 
seven seven up here and seven across there there is our final digit seven the missing number to go here is nine <coughs> and there's only little bits to do now which is the best way to go uh, I'm not sure what's missing in this block here uh, I think it's eight and nine so we've got nine blocking up there there's the nine there's the eight our eight blocking across here will give us eight in that square and this will be another nine nine blocking down here there's the nine and this is six I think six blocking down there gives us six in that square this is eight eight blocks across here it puts eight there eight across there gives us eight there here we need one there we need one so I'm gonna call it a hard level to appease my critics of my underrating the games on a Sunday um, but anyway quite enjoyable I quite liked it thank you the observer I uh, might see you later for some other Sudoku if I feel like it and if you want to watch it bye bye